Let's balance the equation for the combustion of ethene. So we have C2H4 plus O2. It's combustion because we have our hydrocarbon and it's combining with the oxygen and it gives us carbon dioxide and water. So combustion here, organic combustion will always get carbon dioxide and water starting with a hydrocarbon and oxygen. So to balance the equation for the complete combustion of ethene here, I've already counted the atoms up. The only thing to watch for is you have two oxygens here and one here. So we have a total of three oxygen atoms in the product side. Let's balance the equation. We'll leave the oxygen to last because it's just oxygen atoms. When we change this, it won't change carbon or hydrogen. Put a two in front of the carbon dioxide, one times two. That'll give us two. The two, it goes to everything. So let's update our oxygens. Two times two is four, plus that one oxygen right here with the water. Now we have five. Let's fix the hydrogens. Put a two right here, two times two. That gives us four, the hydrogens are balanced. Again, let's update the oxygens. Two times two is four, plus two times the one, that gives us two. Six oxygen atoms, and all we need to do over here, put a coefficient of three in front of the O2, two times three. That'll give us three, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you wanna write the states, they look like this. Since combustion is exothermic, our water, that's gonna be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the complete combustion of ethene, C2H4 plus O2. Thanks for watching.